What's up, SBM gang? Today I am back with another hair collab. Today, Love Me Hair sent me a raw, kinky, curly wig. Now, let me tell you guys, before I get into this video, the wig was HD. The wig was kinky, curly. So, when we posted our dance TikToks, everybody thought this was her real hair. Everybody was like, where's the wig? Where's the wig? Where's the wig? So, let's just start with how Love Me Hair HD kinky, curly wigs are giving pure scalp like people did not think this was a wig so if you know you want to give off real hair vibes try this wig out see what love me hair got to offer because i loved this wig this was one of gabby's favorite wigs as well because even though i didn't curl it in this video when she went home and wet it, it the curls were so realistic it wasn't like just a regular spiral curl it was a real curl pattern, so I definitely recommend this hair if you want your wig to look like your real curl pattern, period, and it's no shade. And then y'all already see the lace is just giving scalp, so I don't really need to say too much about this wig. Y'all can kind of already tell I loved it, and it is what it is, period. In this video, I'll be using my Bold Hold Lemon Burst. And this is one of my new favorite glues. It's by Alonzo Arnold and it's with Bold Hold Family. And this glue is just everything. It smells good. It has the antibacterial that fights your sweat um, inside the formula of the glue. So this glue is very much for my girls with the sensitive skin, my girls who sweat a lot. This glue just is everything. Um, I didn't use tape this install because we weren't going to leave it in that long. Remember, we only use the tape when we want our installs to last long term. If you only wearing your wig a couple days, don't use that tape because I promise it ain't coming off easy. It just isn't. We love that tape. But today we only did about two to three layers of this adhesive just so that way we can just get a, a temporary stronghold. No shade. Once I have those layers applied on her skin evenly, I go in and I melt this scalp. I can't even say it's a lace because you can't even see it. Can you see the lace? I can't see the lace. Can you see the lace? If you say you see the lace, you lying. Because this is not your regular transparent, your regular brown lace. This is a HD scalp. Okay? So now I'm just pressing that lace into the glue. Y'all. Y'all have to press y'all lace into the glue so that it can really set and lock in. I'm using my blow dryer on cold air. I'm not using heat because heat loosens your glue. I'm using cold air to really dry that lace in before I tie it down. And once I tie it down for about 20 minutes, I go in with my eyebrow razor and my scissors. I go back and forth and I'm just cutting that lace off real, real quick. So for the styling, I decided to do a flip over method because I just wanted to really give a natural look. Like everybody believed, I wanted it to give real hair vibes. So I definitely didn't want to do a defined middle part or side part. I just wanted it to be, you know, whatever it wanted to be in that moment. You could flip it over, you could put it in a ponytail. That's the vibe I was going for with this wig. And so that calls for a lot of plucking. This wig was pre-plucked now. But, y'all know I like to really customize and really, really give what needs to be given. Gabby loves the overly plucked look. Not overly plucked in a bad way, but overly plucked in a, you know, a natural, realistic way. Most hairlines don't have all that hair that comes on the frontal. Real hairlines are thin in the front. So, we just decided to really, really, like, press the limits with the plucking to see what we can give. And I honestly felt like I could have plucked 
even more but i'm still gradually leaning towards you know that dramatic pluck look so yeah to be careful with that type of stuff you don't want to over over pluck especially if you're a beginner less is more but once you get you know a little bit more seasoned you can like test the waters and see how how far you can go with them tweezers guys already know that i recommend you cut your baby hairs with the eyebrow razor because it's more natural and less blunt than when you do it with the scissors and y'all already know i like to use my baby flat iron to give what needs to be given it just helps you really mold your baby hairs into the direction you want it to go bold hold lace jelly is always my go-to product when i'm doing baby hairs it's lightweight it's not cakey it's not greasy it's just what it needs to be for baby hair so I love to use my bowl hold lace jelly when I'm laying these baby hairs y'all know I love to go in with my freeze spray for extra security and I use my paper barber strips to tie lace down and I always recommend to my clients buy a box of them paper strips because that's better to use on your hairline when you're tying your hair down then to go directly in with a scarf or something that's made out of cotton, that lint gets into your glue. So you always want to put the paper on first and then tie it down with whatever you usually tie it down with. Because you want to protect your lace, you want to get that maximum hold, and you don't want any residue or lint from what you use to get into your lace. So that's why we use the paper first always, no shade. So many people thought that we just did a blowout on her real hair. I didn't even blow the hair out, y'all. All I did was comb it out with a powder brush. And I, I think I used a wide tooth comb as well. But we did not use a blow dryer to get the hair this big. It's naturally this big. So I love this wig. I should have wet it for you guys just so y'all can see how it looks wet too. But I was so obsessed with this big hair. I didn't want to see what the wet had to offer. And it was just everything, y'all everything i'm using my cold air and my hot comb because i just have to get that natural lift and that's pretty much it for this install like it was a very simple quick slay we didn't have to do too much to get this look and try out the wig let me let me know how you guys like it in the comments no shade there you have it this is the final product the final bust down the final everything this looks so natural i cannot make this stuff up y'all i love this wig this is one of my favorite wigs that have been sent to me like just no shade like not even capping look at look at this hair y'all it's everything i really want y'all to let me know in the comments how y'all like this hair be sure to follow gabby on all her social medias follow me as well at slay by matthew everything is the same on all my platforms i will be leaving all the information for this wig in the description box below and the information for the adhesive as well stay tuned for the very very end of this video i have more behind the scenes footage for you guys on how we got the tiktok for this look done everybody i've been getting so many positive reviews about the behind the scenes footage and i really love that so we're definitely going to keep that coming for you guys like comment share and subscribe and it's no shade period so basically all one start from here so it can feel natural and you were up more yeah okay where's the brick somewhere one goes to the corner. I'm looking at the one. Oh, I didn't do my face right. I was no. That's what I got from you. That's what I got right now. Hot, so pop up. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like, like hot. 
Yeah. 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 You can see the whole thing. So down. Wait. I killed that. Thing. You. Yeah. <laughs> no, cuz. Bitch. I'm fucking. <laughs> Listen to his heels down. The bitch, I go down right with the song. Sorry. I literally get my own zone, bitch. Because <laughs> he be fucking me out. <laughs> okay. A little bit. Let's see. Showing a little bit. Yeah, right there. Up. I don't have it no more. I'm getting it wrong. But notice the beat now. You start down, you just pop up. Ah, and one, and two, three, and four. Okay. Ha, 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 ha. Fuck. It's always when we think it's going to be the one, and it really ain't. Sock your beans. The fuck? We choose like your beans. I had, you had it first, and then I just got it, and then. I didn't know how I had it, so I was just fucking up. Come on. Alright. You see it? You're still still before you pop. Be in emotion before you pop. Okay. That's what helped me. One, two, one, two, three, four. Five. Oh, I was late. You was right. I don't know. I'm watching. Sorry, y'all. Uh. 